Ah, sprint cars, mayhem wagons, scary shopping trolleys, whatever you want to call them. They're amazing, and we can't quite believe we haven't used them in a Max Bance Open yet. Really, it's a perfect fit for the dumbest seasonal hosted event on iRacing. This is a car that is light but unwieldy, is incredibly powerful but can only go so fast because of gear ratios, and is designed to constantly go left even in a straight line, which means any right hand turn is a painful, futile quest. So let's take it to Le Mans then. The Americans descend on France in Max Bantz 11, saving private banter. At just over 230 kilometers an hour at the top of the tallest gear, you're practically trundling down the Mulsan Strait. It feels pretty pedestrian to be honest, but it's balanced out by the hell you gotta go through to get to the straight in the first place. The right rear tire of a sprint car is bigger in circumference than the left rear, which means you're pretty comfy through the left hand corners, but as soon as you turn right it's oh no 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 no! Okay. So, a lap around here is probably going to take forever, if you even make it around. You have to brush the brakes and slow down three times as much as you think you should for every right-hander, of which there are many around here. What is the goal? What is the flimsy justification for this madness? Well, the last running of Max Bantz was the shortest in our history. We didn't even make it past 15 minutes. So race director Jake Sperry wants to guarantee maximum usage of the server and maximum pain for you. 15 laps. <laughs> oh God help you all. 15 laps is the race length and the winner will be the driver who does the sickest sideways finish across the line. Apparently it's going to be Robot Wars rules so you'll be rated on style, control, damage and aggression, whatever they mean. Oh well, not my problem. I just make the video, draw the trophy, and shout at pixels on the SimSpeed broadcast. Speaking of which, we are once again partnering with SimSpeed TV to broadcast this race at this time, on this day. And because God knows I've kept you waiting long enough, the next super serious track guide is going public the moment the broadcast ends. If you're up for this gauntlet yourself, the entry form is in the description, as well as a link to our Discord as usual. But be quick. Entries filled up pretty quickly last time. They probably won't this time because such a ridiculous format, but nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? Do you want to be a son or daughter of banter? Compete!